right now on planet Earth, there are almost one billion people that are suffering from a mental health disorder. That's a billion with a B. And I'm one of them. And you might be too. You all raised your hands a moment ago for something not so personal, but I'd like you to participate in something with me, please. Please raise your hand if you have a mental health disorder, and please keep it raised. Raise your hand if you think that you might have one, but you're not sure. And raise your hand if your mental health just hasn't been that great recently, and maybe not for the last few years. Look around. That's probably why they have a licensed therapist up here as one of the keynote speakers for tonight. You may put your hands down, thank you. My name is Dr. Courtney Tracy. Online, I'm known as the Truth Doctor, and that's a big title. So let me tell you why I decided to call myself that. I've been struggling with borderline personality disorder for decades. But in 2019, I had a family trauma that led me to experiencing severe trauma, really intense anxiety, and a desire to self-isolate. And, <laughs> and here's the truth. Even as a mental health professional, you can still struggle with mental health issues. Another truth. I didn't want anybody to know. And if I didn't want anybody to know that I was struggling with my mental health, then what does that say about the stigma of mental health in general? That we should be embarrassed about it, judge it, hide away? So I decided to do something different. What I wanted to do was hide away and pretend to be the blank slate therapist that asks you, how does that make you feel and looks a little bit like this. Sigmund Freud, thank you. Instead, I created a platform of almost two million followers to date over the last two years, and I decided to be the therapist that bears it all, that tells the truth about how my mind and my body work, and to show just how normal it is to not be normal. What is normal anyways? As content creators, we're not normal. Our job is not normal. And right now, there's 50 million human beings that are creating, inspiring, motivating, and educating us all around the world. But 90% of creators are burnt out, and 71 of them want to quit. And 60% of them are doing this as their full-time job. And what do we learn at the typical 9 to 5 about our mental health? Don't talk about it. Find a work-life balance. And if you can't find a work-life balance, then that's another thing that's wrong with you. But what do we do if we're content creators and our life is our job and our house is our office and our personality is our brand? But here's the thing, you're a human. You're not a role, you're not a platform, you're not the character you play, and you're not your following count. The hustle culture that says, go, 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 create, create, create. Maybe that's not overwhelming for every creator in the audience, but I'm sure that it's overwhelming for many of you. But you are a human being first, and I want you to remember that. So how do creators not get burnt out? You pay attention to the truth of how your mind and body work. Instead of the lies that our minds tell us where if we don't create, we don't exist. If we don't get likes and loves, then we are not likable and we are not lovable. And if we don't have any followers, then we must be directionless. And it's not true. Often our mental health knows more about us than we do. We get depressed when we're unfulfilled, we get anxious when we're overwhelmed, and we get scared and fearful when our boundaries are crossed. Your emotions are messengers and I want to encourage you to listen to them. So if you're a content creator and you're struggling with your mental health, I have two things I want to leave you with. One, it's okay to be vulnerable even if it sucks. The definition of vulnerability is to be at risk of engaging in physical or emotional harm. And in society today, especially online, when we're open about our mental health, we are at that risk. But the more that we talk about our mental health through our channels, the less it actually becomes a vulnerable thing for us to do. And lastly, 
you are more important than your content. If at any point while you're creating your content, you ask yourself, why am I doing this? And you can't come up with one reason why you as a human being, not you as a content creator, you as a human being is benefiting from this, then it might be time to take a break. And lastly, I'm so glad that each and every one of you exist. Thank you.